Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to create a realistic Earth with all the atmosphere and all that stuff in Cinema 4D and Octane. So let's get started. First of all we need to create a sphere. Since the Earth is not flat and we give it a bit more segments, let's say, I don't know, 200 maybe. Yeah, this is good. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to create a Octane material put it onto this sphere. Let me just uh, start the live viewer. Okay. Now, next thing is, I want to give it an environment. Let's put on a daylight. And what I can do now is I can rotate it in the viewport by hitting R and just playing around with the angle this maybe okay now we need to get rid of the background so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just change the sky color to a black and also change the sun color to a little bit more whitish tint so what I did for the texture is I went to NASA they offer a lot of free textures and um, yeah I think I used this one uh, they offer different resolutions just make sure that you download the correct one because if the resolution of the picture is too low and you get too close to the planet with your camera it will get blurry so I got a pretty high resolution one I think and um, now import it to Octane and just connect it to the Diffuse channel. And what we get is this. Okay, this is fine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the sphere and just scale it up a little bit. And I'm going to create a new octane material and put that material onto this sphere and let me just rename this this is going to be the earth and the other one is going to be our clouds and uh, NASA offers also some cloud textures and let me just import this and if I connect this to the diffuse channel you can see the clouds, but right now they are not transparent. We want the black parts to be transparent, so I just connect this one to the opacity slot as well, and there we go. You can see a part of the clouds now. We change this one to glossy, and maybe for the earth texture as well. Okay. So back to the clouds. If I just zoom in a little bit. I want to give them a little bit of a bump. So what I can do is I connect this texture to the bump channel and we can see that there is something happening. So right now it's too strong, but we can change that by applying a multiply node and as well as a float node and if I connect the float node to the other slot and I play with the values we can see that we can make the bump less strong and I like this the same goes for the other texture for our earth texture if I connect this one to the bump can see that this is our result so let me apply the multiply and the flow texture and I'm gonna play around with the values okay maybe like this also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the render settings to path tracing So now to this blue shine. I want to give it this Fresnel look. 
So what I can do is I'm going to duplicate the clouds. Just uh, let me rename this to maybe like Earth Fresnel. delete the material and I'm gonna create a new octane material put it on this object and let me rename this to earth fall off this is maybe better so let me switch to this material so what I can do now is we have this node in Octane, it's called um, the falloff node. Where is it? Here. So if I just connect it to the diffuse, we can see that we get this um, gradient from the inner to the outer. And if I connect this to the opacity slot, we can see that we get this shine. So what I have to do now is I want this to be blue. So I drop in an RGB spectrum and just shift the color to something bluish. Maybe like this. So what we can also do is uh, we can play around with this uh, skew factor, which defines how, how big this uh, fall off is. Also, let me change the uh, specular and roughness from our earth texture. Just lower the specular and upper the roughness a little bit. Uh, this is good, maybe. Yeah, like this, okay. And wh what we can also do is I uh, can color correct the earth texture a little bit. Just um, maybe desaturate it just a little bit. Yeah, we're good. So right now we can't see the clouds and this is because the earth fall off object is in the same position as the cloud. So we just have to scale it a little bit and uh, we get our clouds back. Oh, and what I also forgot is that in our clouds uh, we can upper the visibility of the clouds because as we take a look to the texture right now, the gamma is set to 2.2, but if I lower it to one, this is actually a linear map so um, we got more clouds and this is much much better now okay so what i want to do now is i want to add a background so i got this plugin it's called import images as it's from cv tools if you don't have this you can do this manually by just um, placing a texture onto a plane but since i have this one uh, it automatically does it for me so it's good so i have this space texture here just let me rotate it. Okay. And I'm going to scale it up a little bit. Okay. Also, since this is a plugin and it created a material, it's not an octane material, so I have to convert it and I'm going to go to uh, remove unused material. So the octane material is applied to it. So if I refresh the live viewer now, you can see that we got a black image, or pretty black image. So I'm gonna open the node editor. Let me see. Okay. What we can do is uh, we can give it some glow. So if we go to texture emission, just drop this one in, drop it to the emission slot. And just refresh this one real quick, okay. I'm gonna connect the image texture to the texture emission slot. And right now I have to check double-sided because the plane is the other side around. So now we can see that we get some stars and we can play with the brightness or the power of this texture emission to give it uh, more stars or less stars. Okay, now I want to give it this outer shine. So I'm duplicating the earth fall off, call it earth shine. And let me switch to the front mode and I'm just gonna scale it up a little bit now. 
Okay. So what I can do is I'm gonna duplicate the fall off and apply it to the earth shine. So let's go to the node editor. And what we can do here is I can if I just solo the fall off map I can work with a ramp texture since I want the edges to be a little bit transparent. So you will see that in a second. So I go ahead and if I play with the gradient you can see that um, the fall off map grows and shrinks. So but I want as I said before I want these edges to be a little bit transparent or a little bit faded. I want them not so harsh. So just gonna add another input. And um, lower this to black. So right now it's not so good, but if I switch to cubic, we should get a pretty good result. And also I want it not to be that visible. So I'm gonna click on the middle node and just lower the, the value a little bit more to black. So now if I disable, you can see that we get this, uh, this really cool glow. What I also did is I downloaded a free model from TurboSquid. I found a really cool one from a space station. So I'm gonna import this one. Just have to make sure that the access points are in place. So I drop it out of the null, select everything, hit Shift C and search for access center. And execute and now everything has its right center axis. I'm gonna group it again. Just delete the material. We don't need that. Also what I do is I'm gonna add another octane material. Put it onto the null. This one is not so detailed. I just did a uh, glossy material on it, so nothing special. Just gonna call this one a space station, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna copy it, switch over to our main project, and just paste it in. Okay, right now we can't see it because it's inside of the earth, and obviously, maybe it's too small. Also, I'm gonna add a camera. And I'm going to change the focal length to something big, like a 135 maybe, which gives me this huge space look. I'm going to zoom out. Position it, okay. So back to the space station. As I said before, right now it's in the middle, so it's inside of this earth. I'm gonna scale it up. Okay, like so maybe. And I'm gonna move it to the camera. So let me just duplicate the camera and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see the space station a little bit better. Yeah, this is looking good now. So what we can also do is we can play around with the Octane camera settings. So just going to select both of those tags, go to camera imager, turn on enable camera imager and play around with the response. So just, just play around and see what you like. And um, just upper the gamma. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe this one. This one is good. Okay. Also, Maybe lower the strength of the daylight a little bit. 
Okay. And we can also give it some glow, so just go to post-processing and just upper the bloom power. So we get a little bit of a glowing appearance. Last thing I did is that I uppered the strength of the sky texture in the background. So, and that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this one. If so, give me a like, follow me, leave me a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye.